Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media here today with a video on the Ford 2.7 versus 3.0 EcoBoost. Which one is better? Both the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoosts are great engines that share a lot of their design in common. Both being a part of the Ford EcoBoost engine family means that they share a lot of their base design structure. However, on top of that, the 3.0 EcoBoost was actually derived from the 2.7 EcoBoost, which means that they share even more in common than your standard EcoBoost engines. Both the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoost are twin turbocharged V6 engines with double overhead camshafts, variable valve timing, and direct injection. The 2.7 EcoBoost was introduced in 2015, and that was quickly followed by the 3.0 EcoBoost in 2016, where ultimately the engine was bored and stroked to achieve the larger 3-liter displacement. While these engines share a lot of their design in common, they actually don't share very many Ford or Lincoln models in common. Both the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoost are found in in the Ford Ranger and the Ford Bronco. However, the 3-liter EcoBoost is reserved for the Raptor models. So ultimately, throughout this video, I'll be focusing primarily on the engines rather than painting a comparison between these vehicles. Jumping into the bulk of the comparison here, 2.7 versus 3.0 EcoBoost performance. This one is a little bit straightforward. Again, they share a lot of their design. They're both twin turbocharged V6 engines, and the 3-liter EcoBoost has a 0.3 liter advantage. So naturally that larger displacement is going to favor the 3.0 EcoBoost when it comes to performance. And that is very much seen not only from the factory, but also looking at aftermarket performance. So from the factory, the 2.7 EcoBoost offers up to 335 horsepower and 400 foot pounds of torque. The larger 3.0 EcoBoost offers up to 418 horsepower and 440 foot pounds of torque. So a pretty good advantage for the larger 3.0 EcoBoost of nearly 85 horsepower and 40 foot-pounds of torque more than the smaller 2.7 liter EcoBoost. Naturally, the larger engine is just going to have an advantage here. As the saying goes, there is no replacement for displacement. While this doesn't necessarily always ring true, it certainly does when you have two engines that are very similar. Moving into aftermarket performance for the 2.7 versus 3.0 EcoBoost engines, both of these engines are incredibly capable with their twin turbo design and can pick up a ton of power with just a tune and basic bolt-ons. Both the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoost can see gains of over 100 wheel horsepower, so certainly huge gains to be had for both of these engines with simple modifications. One potential drawback to the larger 3.0 EcoBoost engine is actually the fact that from the factory, Ford opted to only use direct injection. On the other hand, the 2.7 EcoBoost actually uses a dual injection system, so it has both direct and port injection, which if you're looking to tune and modify these engines and really take them to the next level, that certainly gives a little bit of an advantage to the 2.7 EcoBoost because having that dual fueling not only makes it more capable from the factory, that fuel system in the 2.7 EcoBoost can simply support greater fuel flow. But on top of that, when it actually comes time to upgrading the fuel systems, it's a lot cheaper to upgrade a port injection system than it is to upgrade a direct injection system. So on the 3.0 EcoBoost where it only has direct injection, you're going to reach those fueling limitations a little bit sooner than on the 2.7 EcoBoost, and it's also going to be a little bit more expensive to get those upgrades and really take things to the next level. Moving on to our next topic, 2.7 versus 3.0 EcoBoost reliability. This is really a little bit of a toss-up in terms of which one is more reliable. Ultimately, both the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoost share a few common problems. Some of those common issues include carbon buildup on the intake valves. Now for the 2.7 EcoBoost, this only affects earlier engines that only had direct injection from 2015 until 2017. That was the first generation of the 2.7 EcoBoost, which only featured direct injection. In 2017, Ford updated the engine to include both direct and port injection, which ultimately totally eliminates carbon buildup since with the port injection system, you actually have fuel flow 
flowing over the intake valves. In the case of the 3.0 EcoBoost, again, unfortunately, it only has direct injection, so it does experience some carbon buildup. Fortunately, modern engines are very good at managing this, and it really takes a long time for that carbon to build up to any significant level. If you want to own them for the long term and beyond 100,000 miles, then I would recommend walnut blasting the intake valves roughly every 100 to 125,000 miles. The next common problem shared between both of these engines are oil pan leaks. And then lastly, one thing that was actually recalled just very recently, there were about 100,000 vehicles with the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoost manufactured between 2021 and 2022 that were recalled due to complete engine failure, which ultimately boiled down to fractures in the intake valves, which could then drop into the engine and ultimately cause catastrophic damage and engine failure. Now again, very similar common problems with both engines, and ultimately they are also both very reliable. Every engine is prone to a couple common issues here and there, as are both of these engines. And there really isn't a clear winner here in terms of reliability. Both the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoost are great engines, and if you maintain them well, repair issues if and when they do occur, then they should both hold up very well. And of course, there is some luck of the draw that comes into play. Naturally, some well-maintained 3.0s are going to outlast the 2.7 and vice versa. Anyway, that really wraps up the bulk of the topics in comparison between the 2.7 and 3.0 EcoBoost. So in summary of everything I discussed, both of these engines are great overall. They're both reliable engines and really offer a good overall balance of reliability and performance. The larger displacement 3.0 3.0 EcoBoost is naturally going to have a small performance and horsepower advantage. They're very similar engine designs and that extra displacement just helps it make more power and deliver more performance than the smaller 2.7 EcoBoost. However, when it comes to performance and slightly to reliability, potentially the one drawback to the 3.0 EcoBoost is again the fact that it lacks that port injection. It makes it a little bit less capable with fueling if you're looking to do serious aftermarket upgrades and make a lot of power. And it also has the drawback of carbon buildup since there isn't any fuel actually flowing over the intake valves. So a small downside to the 3.0 EcoBoost and a little bit of a trade-off for getting a larger engine that is slightly more capable and performance oriented. So ultimately, which one is better, the 2.7 or a 3.0 EcoBoost? It's honestly really a toss up. I would probably lean towards the 2.7 EcoBoost just because I really love the idea of having port and direct injection but that's certainly nothing to hold against the 3.0 EcoBoost. It's still a great engine too, and because these two engines are found in very few similar models, I wouldn't pick a certain model or vehicle over the other just because of the engines, or I wouldn't avoid them just because of the engines. So ultimately, find the vehicle that you like, and if it has a 2.7 or a 3.0 EcoBoost, it's likely a great purchase in an engine that should be very reliable and offer a great balance of reliability and performance. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.